I need you to just take a moment and let's think about the scriptures just for a sec. Just think about being me. So I've been called in 2002 to warn the world that a fire is coming to destroy everything and that Jesus is coming. In 2002, I was called to service supernaturally. I'm the last guy in the world that should be doing what I'm doing. I certainly, I guarantee you. I had a company called Vampire Sunglasses. I ran around with a lot of wild women, did a lot of really, I just am not the guy. My life I led before I got saved is not indicative of somebody that was looking for the Lord God. I just not. I wasn't. Anyway, so, but here I am. So here you go. Let me get to this. This movie just popped up and I was looking at the uh, the writing and I heard in my spirit, turn it on. Okay, just watch for just a moment. This has to be tied together with Luke 17 in your mind for just a moment though. Because the Lord told me to warn you. Warn you for what? Okay, well, let's say there's a fire coming to destroy everything. The end of the world's here. Okay, well, that's great. Well, what? should you do well if you go read ezekiel it says at the watchman seeth the sword coming and he warneth not the people and they die in their iniquity i will hold the watchman personally responsible his blood for theirs but if the watchman seeth the sword coming and he bloweth the trumpet and he warneth the people and they heed not the warning, then their sins are upon their own head. That is the scripture the Lord used on me to make me go and do uh, what I've done. He he literally, when he called me out, he told me to open the Bible. I was like, I can't go show everybody this stuff. I'm in court fighting for custody of my kids. Yeah. And so even with the FBI, the story I told you I was going to tell you, I didn't I didn't want to go to the FBI. The, when when I when the the Lord told me to go to the FBI, I said they're not going to let me leave. I'm I'm never going to get to leave the the FBI office, Lord. And I said, so if you're God and you really want me to go to the FBI, and I was trying to get out of it, <laughs> I just said, you're God, you're the creator of all things, and if you really want me to go to the FBI, then there's no way, absolutely no way, that I can open that book right there, and it won't say FBI. <laughs> think about that so if you were telling god hey man the only way i'm gonna go is if you're really god and you're god for sure then then i'm gonna open that book right there and it's gonna tell me to go to the fbi somehow and it was a thesaurus and i opened it up and it said government agencies and right there was fbi just right in my face i was like Ugh. i i had to go same like chinati go in the place with the wind blades i had to go Every time he communicates something to me, and this is the point I'm trying to make with you. Every time the Lord communicates something to me, like go to the FBI, he confirms it with a miracle. When he told me to go to Chinati, he confirmed it with a miracle. Go in that place with the wind blades, for those of y'all that know the testimony. So he always confirms it. This is his confirmation that it's coming again. So I'm just going to show you. Here we go. So, Lord, really, there's going to be a, a tsunami, and it's coming, and warn the people. Keep warning them. Here's part of the answer, part of it. I'm going to show you the rest. Okay, here we go. This just came up out of nowhere. Nah.
Okay, I'm going to pause this just for a second, and this might be a really good time to go to uh, the Bible to show you Luke. Okay, now here's the thing. So there's a day coming, a day coming. It says, when the Son of Man shall be revealed. It says revealed. You know, all this turning things upside down thing that the Lord's had me do has revealed all the truth that he's let me show you. That This is the formula. 100% nylon the night I got saved. Turn it upside down, Jonathan. 100% nylon. That was the formula for all of it. That's what did it all. That's what made it all happen. That's the reason you know that the largest halter in the world is a dead sheep. It's male and female reproductive systems, which is exactly what it says in Genesis 1. Let us create man in our image. So in the image of Elohim created he him, male and female. Male and female created he them. So the, the population, the, the human host body, the beast system, the serpent race was created right then and there. And I can prove it all day long now. I've, give, I've been given all the data. The data is in all the folders. It's parthenogenesis. That's what Genesis 1 is. Okay, so now, if you're standing right here, let me ask you a question. If you're on that beach and you look up and you see this tsunami coming, are you going to try and save your life? Okay, now, before everybody just goes off on the whole tsunami thing. Okay, can you imagine being anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world, and you see whatever it is that is so mind-boggling that you're going to try and save your life from it? But it's everyone at the same time because it has to be because that's what the Bible says. So what is that? thing going to be the bible says as lightning shineth from the east to the west so shall the coming of the son of man be you know because our lord is an all-consuming god isn't he he's an all-consuming fire i mean he's an all-consuming fire our lord um if you've been turned into the fire when the fire shows up wouldn't you be assimilated with it i mean have you ever seen all the media that you see David Bowie and all these other guys showing a lightning bolt representing Satan being cast down in the form of a lightning bolt. Can you imagine a lightning storm that shows up and you've been converted and it shines from the east into the west and then a bunch of bodies are laying on the ground? Those are the ones that were ready to go, by the way, and I'm going to show you in the scriptures. Okay, so the question is, if you see this thing I'm talking about, whatever it is, where you know it looks like it's going to kill you, like this movie right here, are you going to try and save your life? It's a yes or no answer. Okay, in a situation like this, I would, if I was standing there and I saw that, I would just stop for a moment and I would, if I was with my child, I would hug my child and look at the direction of the oncoming wave. I certainly wouldn't be running with my child, having my child trying to panic and freak out while I was running with my child from that wave. That's just me. Um, if I was with an adult, if it was Corey or Zach, and I looked over and I'm like, you guys in, right? All right, well, you want a hug before we go? Okay, I'll give you a hug. Love you, love you, man. I'll see you when, okay, I'm going to go try and punch that wave. <laughs> just whatever the point is i'm trying to make in luke 17 it says two men will be in the same bed one will be taken one will be left you know the pictures i've shown you where there's an angel and a demon inside the same host body well we get converted right we had a superhuman angel demon spirit Right? That's what the Bible said in Ephesians 2. When you walked according to the prince of power, they are the spirit at work and the children of disobedience. The word spirit is pneuma, and it means a superhuman angel, comma, demon. That's what it says. A superhuman angel, demon, or, or Christ's Holy Spirit. So you're either superhuman, angel, demon, or you've been converted to Christ's Holy Spirit because you let Christ come in and take over your host body. And he's now in control of it instead of the angel of the bottomless pit, who was your master. So you switch masters. Okay. So this is what the Lord showed me again. And I'm going to show you a couple more things. This is just getting started. 
But I want you to consider, would you try and save your life if you looked up and you saw locusts coming? I mean, let's say you looked up and you're like, son of a, oh, that's like the locusts. I mean, I, I'm just throwing these things out there. Are you going to try and save your life? If you are, you're not ready. You're not ready. If you, if you think you would try and save your life, you're not ready. You got to embrace death. Death is the door out of here. You must embrace death. You must say, dude, yes, come on. And I would just, here we go, through the door. Because that's the door out of here. But when you've been converted, death is no longer burdensome. Do you understand? Okay, now watch. Let's watch this for just a minute. Let's just watch what they're trying to run from. It's futile anyway. Does that look like something you could run from? <laughs> I mean, you know. uh. Does that look like something you could run from? Remember, water as high as the walls of Jerusalem will cover the city by the sea. I'm the guy that the Lord God sent to the FBI to show the FBI, hey, I work for the Lord God, and he told me to come show you guys that the bombings are of the Pentagon and the bombing of the Twin Towers and the bombings of other buildings are printed on U.S. currency notes. And if you don't believe me for any reason, I showed them to you during the first part of this video. But I'll show them to you very briefly again, trying not to waste too much time. But there is the tidal wave coming over the seven-story building that's part of a prophetic utterance. Now I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to let you decide. You decide. You tell me. Yes or no. Is this $10 bill, was it created to represent a wave coming over a building with the building's reflection in water that's in front of the building it's a yes or no answer so either you see it and you know in your heart that it is well let's say you're having a little trouble deciding whether or not you really can believe some guy named Jonathan Clegg that said that prophesied even though it's on YouTube and it's probably way back there in just a messenger series 2007 2008 but the same guy that's showing you that went to the FBI and showed him the Twin Towers on one side of the $20 bill made in 96. And then he showed him, by the way, let me get a better one right here. I have a better fold on the next one. Yeah, so there you go. So there's the Pentagon building with the explosion right between the two white rectangular parts of the building with the three rows of square windows. So there is the Pentagon. There is the Twin Tower. I mean, is that the... Is that the Twin Towers. It's a yes or no answer. Next yes or no answer. Is that the federal building bombing in Oklahoma City? And then there's the building blown in half on the back. So if you know that that's what these are, if you, you know that that's what these are, you're 100% you're confident you know that that's what these are, then if I'm the guy that prophesied out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring wind, water as high as the walls of Jerusalem will cover the city by the sea. And then there's a $10 bill that has those exact words. Water as high as the walls of Jerusalem will cover the city by the sea. And there just happens to be a tidal wave covering a seven-story building. If you go look up the walls of Jerusalem, which I had no idea what they are, I went and looked them up. Some places it said 72 feet. Some places over 130 feet where there's a cliff in the Temple Mount or the tower. Um, and then some places it's lower. But there's several possibilities. But if you have a seven-story building right there, and I counted that where, the, where that white uh, line is right there, which looks like where the water begins, it would be a seven-story building, which is approximately 70 feet. So I'm just saying that's pretty accurate. 
Uh, again, then the $100 bill, again, the same exact thing, uh, a devouring wind, fire and smoke and a devouring wind. Now, if I show you that that bill right there, the $100 bill that came out in 2014, and I'm showing you those is, those are buildings, and then there's water rushing between the buildings, and then those buildings are actually turning to just, they're being devoured by wind. If I told you that, well, you wouldn't be able to see that just by looking at it. And I just showed it to you. But the Lord showed me to scroll my mouse. So I'm telling you, this is my testimony. So when I had this thing and the Lord told me to scan it and put it on my, in my, I had it in PaintShop Pro way back, way when I still had the old technology. You can't do that anymore. And then scroll your mouse like, and I scrolled it. There's three separate layers of ink on every bill. And so when I did that, I was able to see the three layers of ink, no problem. And when I saw that, there became out of the sea shot come fire and smoke and a devouring wind. So let me ask you, it's yes or no. If I just showed you the $100 bill over here on the far left, and then I scrolled my mouse and it turned to this, and then I scrolled my mouse and it turned to that, would you say yes or no? That sure as hell looks like a devouring wind taking out those buildings. It's yes or no. Yes or no. Like there. Just burnt, you know, the, the way a nuke goes off is it, <clears throat> and this wind just tears it, it just levels everything. Okay, now that I've set all that up. Okay, so the Lord's been telling, just showing me over and over again, it's coming. Okay, and I'm like, okay, well, I showed every, show them again. Okay, I prayed about it. You want me to show them? Keep showing them. Okay. So see, the Lord whom I serve, who's told me to show you and keep showing you, the scoffers are about to have the worst day of their life whenever it happens. All the scoffers, all their little channels and all their little hate parties, God have mercy on them. They're going to have a horrible day. So here is what the Lord showed me again. Watch. Oh, I had a little glitch. So again, let me ask you, yes or no? Right there. Okay, does that scene, does that? to you, does that resemble what I just showed you on these bills? There's the $100 bill. That's the third layer of ink. There it is. So here it comes, and here it comes between the buildings, and here it comes through the buildings and devouring the buildings, and then there's a tidal wave that's the tsunami coming over. So my question to you is yes or no. Do you believe that those are accurate representations of out of the sea shall come fire and smoke? and a devouring wind and water as high as the walls of Jerusalem. Now, this was prophesied back in 2007 to 2008. Then the images that came out of my mouth are on U.S. currency notes. Okay, so here's the point. Do you think they printed these bills like this with a, a tidal wave coming over it and the $100 bill? Do you think they printed them and they're not going to do it? I mean, be honest. Do you think there's any chance... That if they went through the trouble of printing this on the money, that they're not going to do it. Because let me show you, let me show you who's behind it. Ready? If you draw around the perimeter of that bill and connect the vertices, that's the Mindy's goat. That's the church of Satan who's doing it. So it's Satan doing it through the host body system. And that was the hard part to figure out. But it was like chasing a ghost, but the ghost has been caught. The, the angel of the bottomless it's been caught okay so here we go again let's go back to our our imagery so i'm telling you that's what's coming I, that's i mean i'm just telling you this is what the lord warned me about and now i'm going to show you another way that the lord communicated that to me after he showed me that and i was like okay that's pretty compelling. Now, here's my testimony again. I wasn't out typing in tsunamis and doing searches for something like that at all. I had come in from a very frustrating night out here trying to produce videos. And I was just like, okay, I've had enough of this equipment torture, like the other team messing with me. So I went inside and I prayed and the Lord showed me that. I was like, okay, 
And then Zach was there. Zach was there, and I was looking at Zach going, how crazy is this? And then I saw some more of that Asian writing. Let me show you what I went for. So I turned this thing on, and after 23 seconds of watching it, I was about ready to turn it off. It was Will Smith in this thing, and it was Independence Day. And I was like, I just don't feel like watching a scene from Will Smith, Independence Day. I was like, whatever. I clicked on it, and I was like, eh. I sh maybe I shouldn't have clicked on it, but in my spirit, I just heard that, just wait. And I, I went, huh, so I let it play for a sec. And then I saw this. And I sat there and I watched for just a moment. I'm like, okay, this is weird. I was like, what is this? And I was watching this for a minute and then boom, oh wow. I was like, that's a pretty crazy nuke. And then, well, yep. And there's that devouring wind, that wind that just goes through everything, right? Okay, so anyway, so there you go. So I saw that scene. And you're probably saying, so what? And I, that's what I was thinking. I was like, okay. Anyway, so... Then I again went and I prayed and I asked the Lord, Lord, is this what you're telling me that's coming? This is what you want me to tell people it's coming. Other way things popped up as well. And I'm, I, without trying to make a big deal of it, you know, when you click on a video, sometimes it'll have a trailer. There was a trailer called Knock at the Cabin Door. And there's a giant tsunami in that one. They have to choose who's going to get killed or whatever. There's a big tsunami in it. I, I even tried not to pay attention to it. Like, okay, that's really weird, though. There's another tsunami. I just got through looking at this. I hear you telling me, warn the people. So now I'm getting a little bit edgy, and I'm saying, Lord, would you please help me? I don't know what to do. It's like when I needed to go to Chinati, you walked me right into an art gallery, and there was a painting on the wall, and it said, searching for greener pastures, and it was a guy leading sheep basically in Chinati. It was Big Ben, which is where Chinati is. And it said, Melvin Warren was the artist. And the Lord told me to look up the name of the artist. And it meant chief watchman. And I know I'm the chief watchman for this generation. I know I am. There's no doubt about it. Okay, so I knew I had to go to Chinati. Uh, here's, I know I have to warn you again now because I know this is coming. I don't know when. I don't know if it's today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. I don't know. But I got to be faithful to the one that's told me to do it. That's all that matters in my world. So here's the thing. I saw this and I thought, wow, that's pretty crazy. That was a pretty crazy nuke scene. And it just started out kind of, just kind of bland. And it, I, I, was, I, I was wondering what city this was. Anyway, I didn't read any of this. I didn't notice any of this. I saw the explosion. Okay, and I thought, wow, that was pretty crazy exposing. So then after I prayed again, let me show you what happened. Okay, so you see this right here that says the sum of all fears, full movie. You see that? It's in the folder. I want you to look at that for a minute. It says the sum of all fears. Well, that's over on my thumbnails, and I heard the Lord tell me to rent it. Rent the sum of all fears. Rent it on YouTube. And I was like, you want me to rent that movie on YouTube? That's so weird. And I think I found one that was free, maybe. Uh, yeah, I found one f full movie, free. Here it is, sum of all fears. I'm going to click on this. Okay, now here's the thing. Because this is... um. Because this is a movie and it's, you know, they'll have a codec problem with it. But as I was watching this movie, I didn't want to watch it. I'm just being honest. I was like, this is just annoying. I was watching Ben Affleck when he's like really young and whatever. And I watched a few minutes of it and I just was like, maybe I'm just not getting this right. And I just started scrolling with the, the mouse and I just dropped the mouse 
I turned away for a little while and then I just looked back over at the screen. Let me show you what I saw. So this is what came on. So just please pay attention for one minute. Just this is what I saw and it kind of got me interested for just a sec. I wanted to see what was going on. What's interesting is this guy's got 57 on a bat on his back. We have Super Bowl sit 57 coming up. I find that interesting. I'm not making any predictions, but I find it odd. 57 right here. Wow, would you look at that? Just take a moment and look at what's on your screen. I was like, what the hell? I saw that just like, what, yesterday? I just saw this exact thing yesterday. So what I did is I went through my history and I went, where did I see that? And I was like, Zach, and remember seeing that? And uh, so I went through my history and it was right after that tsunami thing that I saw. I had clicked on this thing, see, because it, it has that oriental writing right there, or that Asian writing, I guess. Um, anyway, and here is what was right after the tsunami. So when the Lord told me the tsunami's coming, Jonathan, you need to warn the people. I'm like, okay, Lord, but I've warned them. I told them. You need to keep warning them. I was like, okay, well... You know, it's getting a little sketchy because I don't know what to do exactly. Do I just tell them, you know, I just keep seeing tsunami stuff and you just keep showing me tsunamis? And then all of a sudden this giant tsunami is wiping out some, you know, Asian place. And I'm just like, wow, that was crazy. And then I see two more tsunamis and the knock at the cabin door. There's a tsunami. And then someone sent me a tsunami it's like coming out of covid and it's a pink tsunami and it's the covid virus and i'm just like going okay i'm i'm seeing nothing but tsunamis again it's kind of weird but then i clicked on that 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 url right here see see there's that weird writing i don't know what that is i don't know what language it is i didn't look it up i didn't try to but here's what was on it right here and then I looked at it, I'm like, oh my God, that's the sum of all fears in 2002. Wow, that, you know, that's when I got saved was in 2002. And then as soon as I was saved, I knew the Lord had told me there's a fire coming to destroy everything. I knew it in 2002. Okay, now I'm sitting there looking at this screen again going, this is crazy now. What the heck? Okay, so that's the one with the Asian writing. Then the Lord tells me to rent the sum of all fears. And here's the sum of all fears. Well, all we know is the president has been taken off. The that could mean anything. Well, seven. Yeah, no... Okay, so now I'm just asking you. When the Lord told me, Jonathan, I want you to come in at a 45 degree angle to the Vatican because I was on Google Earth looking at the Vatican. It was a big keyhole upside down cross. And I was like, this is insane. The Vatican's a freaking upside down cross. The whole building's an upside down cross. Are you kidding me? That's insane. That's the rejection of Christ. Do you understand? That is the complete rejection of Jesus and upside down cross. That's why the church of Satan uses an upside down cross that's why peter was crucified upside down but he had the keys to the kingdom of heaven remember he knew it okay do you think it's weird that somehow the exact same movie clip from 2002 came up in front of my face after praying to the lord and saying so you want me to warn everybody that this thing is coming and just keep warning them. And then that thing pops in front of my face again within a 24 hour period, within a 24 hour period, not doing any searches, not looking for anything. There is no, you know, there was no connection. And I use other computers too that aren't tied. They are not synced. So do you think it's possible? Eh, it is, but it happened. So, but do you think the odds are there that, 
What about the odds that I wouldn't even watch the movie because I thought it was so annoying because Ben Affleck was in it? And I was just like, this is so stupid. I can't watch this. I thought I'd made a huge mistake. But I drug my mouse way down through the movie and I dropped it and I was doing some. And then I heard noise on the movie and it was like, ooh, it's a Super Bowl. I'm like, oh, it's football. Huh? What's going on here? And then they're running the president out. And then the next thing you know, it's the identical scene of the thing I just saw. <laughs> okay. Let me show you uh, Luke 17. Before we go to Luke 17, in Matthew 18, verse 3, it says, And I said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Verily, I say unto you, Except ye be converted, become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So that's pretty big. I mean, if you want to just talk about, let's get down to the nitty gritty. If you're not converted and become as little children, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So that's a requisite you you don't have that you got nothing right so what does converted mean let's look at the word converted so the word is strepho it means to turn quite around or reverse you know the opposite direction so what's the opposite of this up the opposite of down is up what's the reverse of down it's up Okay, so this is what I call a no-brainer. With all the information, 100% nylon, Jonathan, turn it upside down, 100% no lion. So to be converted, you got to be turned the other direction. It says it right there. There's no way to argue this. Strepho, to twist, that is to turn quite around or reverse. So what's the reverse if you got inverted? If you've been inverted, what's the reverse of down? Up. Get turned up. Remember I showed you the word uh, um, 350, anacrino, those who are spiritual, anacrino, all things uh, vigorously judged from down to up. There it is. There it is. There's no arguing what I just showed you. What do you think unlocked all this information that the Lord's let me give you over all these years? That. That's what unlocked it all. People ask me, Jonathan, what do you think about Jonathan Kahn? I'm like, Seems like a real nice guy. Do I think he knows the truth? Not at all. What do you think about this person? I don't know. I mean, I don't go look at other people's stuff. I have an open door. The Lord communicates with me. Why would I go look at anybody else's stuff? Wouldn't you think that's kind of weird? Like, go look at some... I've seen other people, and I'll give them for sure their, you know, their due, but I don't go seek, hey, what can this person show me? What can they show me? I place before you an open door, a door that no man can shut. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the information speaks for itself. The Vatican's a snake birthing another snake. Parthenogenesis. It's not arguable. So anyway, so let's take this where it needs to go now. Unless you be converted, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. So unless you turn quite around or you reverse or convert or turn back again. Let's look at the root of the word because I haven't highlighted to turn a trope. That is a revolution. Okay, so let's go down here. At thine eye offend thee. Ready? The word is scandalizo. It means to entrap, to trip up, to entice, to sin. But the root of the word is a trap stick bent sapling snare that turns you upside down so if your eye turns you upside down then pluck it out and cast it from thee it is better for thee to enter life with one eye because you have one eye up you got one eye down then and then having two eyes and be cast into hell okay you get it so this is everything everything do you understand? Okay, now I'm going to just drive it home now. Okay, now watch. Watch this. Let's go to Luke 17. Because the Lord said, unless you're converted, you will all likewise perish. Are you, uh, oh yeah, I mean, unless you're converted, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Unless you're converted, you will all likewise perish. He said that as well. I was just quoting it off the top of my head. Okay, but let's look at Luke 17. Uh, 20 it talks about but the same day that lot went out to issue to come forth come out escape proceed out 
of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Look at the word revealed. To take off the cover. Do you know where the Son of Man is? If you're the temple of the living God, he's inside of you. He's inside of me. That's what happened to me. I just want the old Johnny back. Where's the old Johnny? I'm like, this is the new improved Johnny. <laughs> I don't want the new improved Johnny. I like the old one. The bad one. You know how girls like bad boys. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. So when the Son of Man is revealed, in that day, he which shall be upon the housetop. Let him not come down and take his stuff. Let it, I'm sorry. He that is on the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down. His stuff, a vessel, equipment, or apparatus, literally or figuratively a wife, as contributing to the usefulness of the husband. That's interesting. Isn't it interesting that it talks about one that's on the housetop, don't let him come down to get his stuff. Interesting. Look at this. And he that is in the field, let him not return back. Look at this. Return back. To revert figuratively or morally. To return back. Strepho. To turn quite around or convert the other way. Oh, wait a minute. Because you know what's going to happen. I guarantee you this is going to happen the day, I guarantee you, the day that this happens, whatever it is, will define you. It will define you. If you're trying to save your life when this goes down, it will define you. If you turn and try and save your life, you're going to lose it. The night I got saved, I had to open a door knowing that I was probably going to die. Lou was going, don't open the door, Johnny. And I was like, Lord, tell me what to do. I'm sitting, I never even... I'm never, I was talking to God. Jesus, tell me what to do. Open the door, Jonathan. Lou, grabbing my arm. Don't open the door. I'm reaching for the door. Jesus, tell me what to do. Open the door, Jonathan. Don't open the door, Johnny. They'll kill us. And I looked and said, you don't have to go with me. I have to. I have to know the truth. And I pushed the door open. I went out, walked down these horizontal stairs. They went like that. Boom. Hit the ground. Michael stepped up to me and said, pray with me, my brother. Our Father, I was anointed. Let him not come down. Let him not return back. Remember Lot's wife. Whosoever shall seek to save his life will lose it. Look at this. Destroy fully. See that? You're in an intermediate stage of destruction. Your host body is that stage. When you get fully destroyed, if you turn back when this goes down, if you turn back and you try and save your life, that's it. Don't do it. Okay, I'm warning you. I'm, this is a warning. So, whoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. It means to engender alive. That is my analogy to rescue, save from death. Okay, so if you try and save it, you'll lose it. If you lose it, you'll save it. Now, watch this. I tell you that night there shall be two men. Look at this. Two. Twain. Men, I tell you, two men in one bed. That's kind of weird, right? The word bed is for sleep. Do you ever consider that when the calling away happens, you know it says when that which restrains is taken out of the way, then all hell breaks loose, yeah? Well, do you know the candle that's in the midst of the candlesticks? You know, the, the flame, who do you think that is? That's, that's the light of God, that's Christ. What do you think is going to happen when it's taken away? Not good. Do you think it's going to happen in one event? I'm sure it is. So let me ask you this. Have you ever considered... That all the people, if, if two men are laying in one bed, do you ever consider it two that are inside one host body? Do you ever consider it? Just wait. Let me show you something. I tell you that that night there shall be two men in one bed. One shall be taken and the other shall be left. Let me show you the word other. It says other or different altered. You see that altered right there? What a fascinating word. Altered. It says heteros and it says else. 
Now, I've seen that word else used many times in what I do. And let me show you where else is used. I'm going to go to the folders. You see this? There's two men in one. Could I call it a bed? Well, it's one body for sure. It's one body. But if you're not awake, if you haven't been converted, you're not even awake. Arise, O sleeper, wake up from the dead, and Christ will give you light. So just bear with me and watch this. Do you think it's weird that Van Halen has some little kid sitting on a seesaw, and the kid that looked like he was up high is now down low, and it's attached to him? It looks like this one's in control. This one's screaming, trying to get away. Do you find it weird that that is exactly the same agenda that I'm showing you on this tattoo? It's identical. It's the exact same thing. I could just put it on. There it is. And the whole thing is a sheet. The whole tattoo is a sheet. It's also a scrotum and a penis. And the scrotum and the penis are the demon. And then the angel's trying to get out of there. And it's just not working. He's not getting out. And then when you turn the whole thing upside down, where the if your eye offends you, tear it out and cast it from you. It's better to enter heaven with one eye than to be cast into hell where the worm never dies. Look at what's on the back of this guy's tattoo. See the eye, the eye and the mouth sucking up all the energy. See all the energy from the whole thing. And look at the movement. It's going into the mouth of the worm from the pit. That's pretty crazy that they could get all that in there. It's pretty crazy that it's, it's identical to the Van Halen. It's identical to so many things that I have. It's absolutely insane. It's even identical to this thing right here, which I don't want to talk about because I want this video to be on YouTube. So anyway, so let's go back. Watch this. You ready? There you go. Okay, so one shall be taken, one shall be left. The other shall be left. It doesn't say one shall be taken and one shall be left. It says one shall be taken and the other left. The different one, the altered one, the else, the else, you know, like in the tattoo, the else, the other one. So one shall be taken, one shall be left. Did you ever consider that maybe when this event happens, when God pulls his spirit out, when that which restrains is taken all out of the way, all hell breaks loose, and they get their world that they want, and things are going to be pretty horrifying. Now watch this. Ready? Here is the scripture I've seen so mistaught that if people would have broken this down, they would have understood way, way better what this means. Ready? Watch. So here it is. Whoever says try and save their life will lose it. And here it says, And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. I've always been told in every church I've ever heard, Oh, that's where the bodies fall, and that's where all the vultures go. And the vultures, vultures are what they meant for eagles. No, it's not. That's God gathering all his people, you want to see? Wheresoever the body is, the body, it says body, slave, the eagles, an eagle from its wind-like flight, its wind, from its wind-like flight, an eagle, do you understand? An eagle from its wind like flight, you know, like flying out of here, like an eagle. But watch this. It means to breathe unconsciously, that is respire, by analogy to blow air. Oh, you mean like breath, like eagles, like it's wind, like flight. Be gathered together, to lead together, to collect or convene. See it? To assemble selves together. You see it? To lead out. You see it? Ready? Denoting union with or together. But much closer than 3326, which is meta. You know, like meta book. 
because they changed Facebook to MetaBook. MetaBook is mean everybody that's part of it is part of the same big face. Meta means with. That's what meta means. But this is more personal denoting union. There it is. Look. So it says not like it's saying not like meta, but much closer than meta or 38 or para near. It means possession, addition, besides, including completeness. So this is where the body is. You know why there's a body there? Because you and hopefully I and hopefully all of us, when we see what it is, we have the courage to face it and not shrink back from it. And so then your body goes to the ground and there the eagles are gathered. Do you get it? You're the eagle. Your body goes to the ground and you're gathered out of here. <laughs> it's like, there you go. Isn't it weird that the Lord had me have all these people do, the Lord told me, I cut out maybe 500 doves out of metal. And we and the Lord told me to take them to the night under the stars and have people write prayers on them. I had no idea where they were going to go. And then the Lord told me, open the back door of the bride container. And it was a real, it, was, it wasn't it was easy to do. And there was an exit sign that was upside down that was installed by an electrician. A friend of mine, and he, he messed up and he, he's like, I just told him, just leave it. Don't worry about it. But the exit was upside down. It said exit. It was upside down. And it was a little teeny door. And it said, and the Lord told me, open it and put all the doves coming out the back door, the little exit. The exit has been sold. That was upside down. You get it? The Lord bought your way out that back door by inverting you pretty crazy. <laughs> no one could even think all these things up. Okay, now let me show you. Now let me show you why you should probably believe the person speaking to you. Let me just go do let me go through some stuff real quick. Okay, so wherever the body is, <laughs> and it's going to be there the eagles will be gathered. Because if you try and save your life, you'll lose it. But if you if you're willing to go all the way, then you'll you'll get to life. You're willing to walk through the door. Okay, let me show you something really fascinating about. During the September 11, 2001 attacks, 9-11, 2,977 people were killed. 19 hijackers committed murder-suicide. That's funny. It's almost that's kind of what the world is, is a murder-suicide in a way. Here's the... Here's these two snakes, right? The the Vatican and Audience Hall, twin serpents. Twin, isn't it fascinating that two thousand nine seventy seven means to done and to be done in secret, done privately, done secretly. And look at this. And this was all done secretly. The burning of all the energy throughout the history of the entire world. All the angels were burned up secretly. You know, a spirit cookie like. Marina Abramovic, who's totally busted now. Think about it. That's what spirit cooking is all about. Why do you think they have twin cakes? Marina Abramovic, Debbie Harry. Go type it into Google Images. Marina Abramovic, Debbie Harry with twin cakes at the Mocha Gala. Just go type it in. Cutting out their own heart, eating it. Representing their female energy. I'm willing to eat my good half. The evil eating the good. Spirit cooking. Down eating up. Get it? That's what this is all about. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so now watch this. So I'm the guy that the Lord had show you that. I'm the guy that the Lord had showed you this. The first and second temples in Jerusalem, as well as the Twin Towers, were all destroyed on the same numero numerological date, 9-11. Solomon's temple in Jerusalem was destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar on the ninth day of the 11th month, ninth of, uh, wow, 9-11. The second Herod's temple in Jerusalem was destroyed by Titus on the ninth of, uh, I wonder what the odds are. And see, we are the third temple. We are the third temple. Your host body, what do you think the Twin Towers represented? The host body system, the male and the female, the the two different energies, the two different races, Cain and Abel. That's what the Twin Towers represented, two different races of beings. 
and they destroyed them on 9-11. You know it was a hit job. We all know it was. There's no doubt. It's it's printed on your money. It's it's printed on the U.S. currency. Duh. No, it wasn't done on purpose. <laughs> it's like, whatever. Yeah, the serpent race did it because they're the most subtle of any of the beasts of fuel which the Lord God made. Okay, and then the Twin Towers was destroyed again on 9-11, September 11th. It's fascinating how they love their numbers. Now, let's just look at some stuff. I'm just going to go through some some pictures here for you guys. Watch this. Okay, it's a yes or no answer. Is that police car badge? Yes or no? Is that a Does that badge represent a serpent being? Let me just reduce it in size and let you look at it. Do you think that's an eye, that's an eye, and that's a mouth? Do you think that's a serpent being on a police car? If it is, that's a pretty big problem. Let me ask you this. Is that a serpent wearing a crown? It's a yes or no. Okay, the reason you know it's that, and if you've seen it, is because the Lord God whom I serve told me, Jonathan, come in at a 45 degree angle. When I was in Google Earth, I want to show you something. And I did what he said. And I was like, son of a bitch, that thing's a snake wearing a crown. You got to be freaking kidding me. So he showed me the angel of the bottomless pit, Abaddon. In the Bible, that's the number three, by the way. Angel of the bottomless pit is the number three. So if you type in Strong's three, it'll bring up Abaddon, the angel, destroying angel, angel of the abyss. So the number three represents the angel of the bottomless pit. Well, if I wanted to hide that from you, I could choose the letter C to disguise the number three like a little orphan any decodering that me and all my friends, we know what you don't know. We're going to use the Bible as like a decipher because we know every word in the Bible has a number. So we have this giant book that every word is numbered. So if I wanted to cryptically tell one of my friends that we're a different race than you guys and I want to talk right in front of your stupid selves because we think you're a joke and we hate y'all, well then I could just pick the letter C knowing that my friends know that's the number three, knowing that the number three in the Bible means angel of the abyss. Have y'all looked at O'Biden's logo for president what about obama's the three stripes of the american flag with the letter o rising over the stripes that's from the uh quran the coming of the mahdi shall be preceded by the sun rising from the place of its setting wow that's obama's logo for presidency did you look at biden's they it's got the three lines for the e but no bar just three lines and it says like on Joe, G J O E. And it, they made it look like the sun has risen all the way with three lines, three angel of the abyss again. Huh? That's weird. Here's the angel of the, the abyss, the serpent in a big building. Well, the Lord God showed me that. That's the reason everybody got to see it. Huh? Let's look at the system. Good is up, evil is down, light is up, dark is down, God is up, same is down, up is up, down is down. Let's look at uh, what they're, these are all people standing in front of a puddle, standing in their line to get something. Look at that. They're all standing and they're all have their own reflection right there. You guys have seen Van Halen. You've seen the tattoo. You remember Ian from the Bud Light commercial where they take him into they take him into the party and he says everyone here is a twin because he's got a new outfit on he's got his own black doc, doppelganger Don Cheadle why would he have a black doc, doppelganger Don Cheadle why he's going to a twin party which is what the earth is it's a twin party cleanse your hearts you double minded do you get it decide who you're going to serve don't have one foot in one foot out either serve down or serve up if you're going to serve the Lord God, serve the Lord God. If you're going to serve Satan, then serve Satan. It says it right there in the Bible. Okay, see Ian going into the party with the twin females, on one on each side? What's the Vatican? Isn't it a twin serpent? I mean, isn't it, doesn't it have two serpents? Twin female? There it is. Parthenogenesis. 
virgin Genesis. That's why the, oh, that's why they do it in secret and they take you to a twin female party, which is the whole earth. That's why they have these two freaking snakes here, one birthing the other one out of it. There you go, twin system. That's why they're taking Ian to the party with a twin on each side of him. That's why the Vatican came out with a coin that's just like Ian. Wow, look at that. There's a woman here and a woman here, and then there's a guy in the middle, female, female guy, and he just happens to be pointing at the number zero, like no more male energy because that's the sheep race, and we need to move that right out of the system, and here's how we're doing it. There you go. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty wild. Okay, now, here's a really cool scripture that a friend of mine sent me. Yeah, this is amazing. In my heart concerning, I said in my heart concerning the state of the sons of men, that Elohim might manifest them, and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. What? 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 Fallon, what a slam dunk, dude. That is just awesome. Let me show you this. Just give me a sec. So yeah, 318 and just, man, what? I don't know if you guys understand what you're getting right now. This is all, this was Fallon sent this in. This is pure gold. Pure gold. And I said in my heart concerning the estate of the sons of men that Elohim might manifest. Look, so Elohim, gods of the supreme God, might manifest to clarify, that is, to brighten, ready, get ready, to brighten, to examine, select, to make bright, uh, by, uh, you know, the, the light coming in, to cleanse, be clean, wow, clearly polished, show self, purify, purge out, Wow, look at this scripture, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at that. That Elohim might manifest them that they might see, to see, to understand, to discern, to take heed that they themselves are beasts. Hello, we are we are the beasts, we're in the beast system, we're angels, we got trapped, and we have to show ourselves, admit who we are, own up to what we've done, accept the punishment, and say, I deserve my punishment, you would be just in condemning me, and ask for forgiveness. Yes! That's, that scripture is just pure gold. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Doesn't get any better than that, guys. Check that out. Okay, let's go back. So that one was shown to you by Fallon, but how cool the Lord let me share it and share it with you guys. Okay, let me go back here and now let me share this with you. Remember, uh, let's look at Ozzy Osbourne. See, patient number nine. See, number nine, it turns to a six and the beast becomes flesh. See it? See, Ozzy turns to a beast. I wonder what the odds are. Remember the six, look, at, look right here, the six right here. They're all standing in line, right? What's a six upside down and nine? You know there was darkness over all the land from the sixth hour to the ninth hour, right? And Jesus in his crucifixion. Uh, here's a really interesting six and nine right here. And some people say that's an H. I'm like, no, it's not. It's P-F-I-Z-E-R. The F and the I are connected, which is a six and a nine. Remember the unexpected guest or welcome to uh, yeah, New Friends by Heineken? And he goes to a party, he gets all dirtied up, and then they kick him out, and then it shows 9-11 on the door behind him, but it was a six upside down. But they showed the 11 first. 116 is 911 upside down. Then he turns the six upside down, and it's 911 right behind him which is the angel of the bottomless pit. Do you know everything I've shown you is impossible for it to be like this? You understand that, right? Everything you're seeing, this, this is not possible. These are, these are, these, you can't intersect these kind of data points. There's no way. 
you cannot intersect these data points. Let me show you an interesting thing about the logo history right here. Do you know this? This these two different colored blues. They made a really interesting uh they made a very interesting statement about the two different blues that have like finally come together. And I was like, what does that mean? The two different blues? Light blue and dark blue have come together. It's interesting. And you see how they said it represents DNA is what they said in this article I read. So there's a dark blue and it has a top, a top that's light blue DNA. And then a light blue DNA and that turns to a dark blue and they come together. They make opposing triangles right here if you just look at the thing at the angle. See it? And that's pretty fit. But here's when they came up with that in 2021. Isn't that fascinating? Especially when you consider all the other logo stuff, like in the people standing in lines. That's pretty uh, insane. But let me show you another place where I saw this blue thing. And I thought it was phenomenal. The pain assessment tool. And it's one through three is mild, which is light blue. And no pain at all is this dark blue. Just like their logo, but then I was like, oh, wow, how fascinating. Because being someone that has lived in chronic pain for years, um, they ask you what's your pain level. And down at the bottom, when it's really high, they have bright red and it's 10. And then as you go up, it's less than bright red, like orange, and then yellow. And then it starts turning blue and then so dark blue is the least pain. Isn't it funny that dark blue is the association of the team that's the down team and red is the association for our team like Adam? Isn't that fascinating? Scorpions blue, Adam red. What are the odds? I wonder what the odds are. Let me show you a really quick, interesting, very interesting trailer. You see this girl's head? It's upside down, isn't it? It's kind of weird, right? Uh-huh. Super weird. Let's see. You know, I'm not going to go through all the pictures. I'll just show you guys the trailer and let you guys. By the way, here's another thing that I thought was pretty interesting when it comes to the color blue. When I was doing all the dinosaur stuff and the raptor stuff, the other team likes to really associate themselves with the color blue, the female thing. I thought it was fascinating. It's like the color they pick. But here we go. Watch this. So guys, go watch the trailer for Smile. See, it says Smile official trailer. Just go watch the trailer for Smile. I can't play it because they removed the link that was playable. This one, they're going to try and shut off my video if I show it to you. Just go watch the trailer for Smile. Okay. And here we go. Okay, so now it's time to make sure you guys fully understand that there's an insect race. Y'all y'all have to know that the, the bottomless pit has an insect race. That's what the Bible says. It says in Revelation 9 that the, the fifth angel sounded and a star falls from heaven and he had the keys to the bottomless pit and the, the pit gets open and there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth and they have the power of scorpions. So a locust and a scorp, they have the power of scorpions. So they're identifying the locust from the pit uh with the power of scorpions and then it gives a a description of them and it it tells what's going to happen it says whoever get doesn't have the seal of god in their foreheads if you get stung by a scorpion you will be tormented for five months and their torment was the torment of a scorpion when it striketh a man and then it says men will seek death and will not find it. They'll desire to die, but death will flee from them. It sounds pretty much like a uh, zombie, doesn't it? If you desire to die, but death will flee from you, then you're a zombie. Uh, if you're in if the word, um, uh, uh, they will be tormented. It means pain, like to torture, pain, toil, torment, and vex. You see all those words right there? Read them all yourself. That's what's going to happen to the people that get stung by the scorpions that come out of the pit. And the shapes of the locusts, so they're going to call them locusts, and they're going to call them locusts, but they're going to say they they have faces like men, hair like women, teeth like lion, 
and the sound of their wings as as many horses rushing into the battle. And they had tails like unto scorpions. And they had the power to hurt men, okay, for five months. And they had a king over them. So these scorpions from the pit have a king over them whose name is Abaddon, the angel of the bottomless pit. And Abaddon right here, I'm going to highlight it for you in a very different color and bright blue. Here it is. And Abaddon right here is a destroying angel, the angel of the bottomless pit. If you want his Greek name, they call him Apollyon which is Satan, says it right there. So Abaddon, the angel of the bottomless pit, is the king of the locusts from the pit that have tails like scorpions. So Satan is the king of the locusts. In the story, he's the king of the locusts, says it right there in the Bible. Isn't it weird that the, that the Vatican has posts and pillars in the main canopy that represent the host body? The canopy, because Lucifer's referred to as the anointed cherub that covereth and the word covereth is literally a canopy it says a canopy the anointed cherub that's the canopy the flesh wow and they have locusts on it on those pillars in the vatican i mean do you understand that just by virtue of the fact that there's a locust right there on the corner of every corner where there's a pillar Look at the locust. It's a locust. It's a locust. Okay, so the guy showing you the locust right now is the same guy that's telling you nukes are coming. Same guy that just showed you the locust from Revelation 9 right there on the post that represents the host body, that represents the canopy, that Lucifer's, Lucifer's the anointed cherub that covereth, that's the canopy, that's the flesh. So Lucifer's the flesh. Says it right there, man. Ezekiel. Mm hmm. You want me to go to Ezekiel? Let's do Ezekiel. Here's a couple really good scriptures to uh, just, and I'll give you a really good picture to picture it. I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God. I will destroy thee, O covering cherub. The word covering right here is to entwine as in screen, to fence in, to cover over. Uh, to hedge and to join together and to shut up. That is, O oh, covering angel, the anointed cherub that covereth, to entwine as screen by implication, to fence in, to join together, to shut up. Okay, let me go back real quick. There's a good one. To screen in because... He screened you in. He's the anointed cherub that covers, that screens and entwines, joins together. Joins together what? Well, gee, um, if you look at Van Halen and you look at all the other info I have, he joins together the angel and the demon. That's a no-brainer now, but we got to understand Satan's race is an insect race. Insect. Because now I want to show you something that just, it can't be argued. That's why I want you to see the stuff I'm showing you now. If you can't argue with what I'm showing you now, then all this tidal wave stuff and all this nuke stuff that's already printed on the U.S. currency, do you think it's going to happen? I mean, how could it not happen? Let's just do some quick Q&A. You've seen the video before, right? Lady Gaga impersonator birthing a locust. Yes or no? Does he turn it upside down and then turn it right side up? Yes or no? Well, there it is upside down. Then he turns it right side up. And she goes, oh my God, because their God is, who's their God? He's the king of the locusts. No wonder she says, oh my God. Right when she bursts a locust, there's Lady Gaga in her dress. That's an insect. That's an insect. Isn't it weird that the bottom half of her dress is a serpent and the spear tip going through her vagina, vagina goes into the mouth of an insect? That's weird. Well, that would make sense because that's exactly what the Vatican is. So now just an honest question. Yes or no? Is that an, is that an insect? It's a yes or no. I've colored it green. Because this thing turns into more than just more than just a locust. It turns into a dragon. I wonder how in the world it could possibly turn into a dragon. 
because the dragon is the serpent. The serpent and the dragon are synonymous. So for that thing to turn into a dragon, that's impossible. It's impossible. But it does. It turns into a dragon as well. So let me ask you, uh, does that look like a dragon's open mouth right here? If this is the open mouth of a dragon, and here's the eye, and here's the eye. There's the nose, there's the nose, there's the eye, there's the eye, and then there's the horn, there's the horn right there. That's a dragon with his mouth wide open. How is it even possible that that thing turned into a dragon as well? How is it even possible that if you look at it like this, there's the eye, there's the eye, there's the mouth. It's the queen of heaven as well. So you're telling me that thing's actually the dragon which is the angel of the bottomless pit, and he's the king of the locusts. And there happens to be a locust on the same exact thing. It just depends on your ability to see it. And the Lord gave me this amazing ability, didn't he? It's a yes or no. Is that a dragon? I guarantee you it's a dragon. Is it a locust? I guarantee you it's a locust. Is it the queen of heaven? I guarantee you it's the queen of heaven. So, again, if the guy telling you that's what that is and is able to show it to you is telling you that the Lord told him to tell you there's a tidal wave, a tsunami coming, and the sum of all fears is about to happen. The nukes are about to happen. I don't know when. I don't know if that means today, tomorrow, next month, next year. I have no idea, but I know that he told me to warn you. So let me just give you some more data so maybe you'll believe me for sure. So this is the guy that the Lord shows you that if you turn an image of the Virgin upside down in the Madonna video, it's a dragon as well. It's a, is that a dragon? It's a yes or no answer. It's super easy. Okay, so let me, okay, so yes or no. That, is that a dragon with its mouth open? It's a yes or no. Okay, so let me ask you this. Is this an insect with mandibles and does this thing right here looks like it's right at the tip of the mandibles of the insect it's a yes or no my answer is i guarantee you it is because the lord showed it to me um let me color it in for you and see if it makes any difference there you go i made it a green insect with blue eyes and black antenna and gold mandibles and the penis that's going in the mouth no different than the lady gaga dress for goodness sake so now I got the same thing as the Lady Gaga dress. I have a penis going into the mandibles of a bug, and the whole thing is inside of a serpent. It's identical to Lady Gaga's dress. Oh my gosh, I wonder what the odds are. Clex the false prophet! Kill him! <laughs> okay. I know. Freak out! Clex the false prophet! Oh my god! Uh-huh. Why are y'all so upset about me being a false prophet so much? Huh. Let me ask you this, if those are insects, let me show you a little thing that they had up, and it shows all these little people that are like insects and they're holding up this banner. I colored this blue because that represents that word, uh, Abaddon, which is the angel of the abyss. And this word right here, well, you know what? Let's double check that word. Let's just double check it. And then this number right here, 19, that means slaughter right there. So let's just double check that one. Let me read you this. Don't believe me. HTTPS www.babynames.com. The meaning of Ovid. The meaning of Ovid is a sheep. Its origin is Roman, Latin. Huh. Oh, wow. That's weird. What do they sing that mass to Lucifer and inside the snake, inside of Abaddon? What do they? Oh, yeah, that's right. Latin. They sing in Latin. All five of the guys I showed you all sing in Latin. Huh. The name is mostly being used as a boy's name. Last year it ranked 8,884th 8, in the U.S. Social Security Administration in a list of most popular names for boys. Uh, Ovid is derived from the Roman name Ovidus, which is derived from the Latin word Ovis, a sheep. Uh, Publius Ovidus Naso, also known as Ovid, was the first century power and writer known for metamorphosis. Oh, that's interesting. 
which tells of the creation of the world according to the Greeks and Romans. So in the Romans, there was a guy named Publius Ovidi Ovidius Naso, also known as Ovid, who was a writer known for metamorphosis because they just happened to be turning a sheep into a locust? That's convenient, isn't it? <laughs> Click the balls, Robbie! Kill him! <laughs> <laughs> Go him, freak out. Okay, well, let me show you a little few more things. So let me ask you this question. It's a yes or no. Is that a big serpent wearing a crown? It's a yes or no. The answer is yes. The Lord's the one that showed me that. Let me ask you this. I, I Again, I told you the serpent was female because it's parthenogenesis. Is that a statue that looks like a guy hugging a girl for the best you can tell? Well, I, I've seen it from both sides. The answer is yes. Um, so let me ask you this question. Yes or no. Is that look like the coils of a serpent strangling out a sheep? It's a yes or no answer. I can assure you that's what it is because the eyes that the Lord God gave me to see with and he told me, I am the eyes of the body of Christ. That's why I had a vision company before I got saved. Vision. Come out of the darkness into the light with Vlad Eyewear. Ooh, vampires. Because <laughs> we're a bunch of vampires and we got converted. We're in a vampiric system we got converted out of. So let me ask you this. Does this look like a serpent eating a sheep? If I outline the serpent as the brown part and I give you the eye of the serpent right here, and then I just show you, here's the eye of the sheep right here. There's another sheep bump. The answer is, I guarantee you it's a serpent eating a sheep. Because I can see what the artist did. Let me show you who gave that to me. My my lovely wife gave that to me. Yep. She's the one that gave it to me. Never would have expected. She's the one telling me, don't open that door, Johnny. They're going to kill us. She gave me this card. And it says, when you find yourself out on a limb, you always have a serpent that will eat you. <laughs> It's like, okay, I'm over it. All right, get it? So, here you go. Yeah, when you find yourself out on a limb, can you see the serpent right here eating the sheep? There it is. It's a serpent eating the sheep. Oh, my gosh, the Vatican's a serpent eating the sheep. Well, here, let me, so we got all these reptiles eating sheep. Wow, that's a gnarly tattoo of a raptor, which means rapist, by the way. But when you turn it upside down, let me ask you a question. Is that a dead sheep in the mouth of the raptor that's upside down? It sure is. Okay, let's get away from the vampire thing. And let's move on to that. Let's make sure that's kind of blotted out. So here's a vampire just sticker. But I want you to just pay attention to. If I drew this in, it's a bug. It's, it's also like a praying mantis. You see it? They made it like an insect. There's the eye, there's the eye, here's the mandibles, and they also made it the same as the female genitalia. So, I'm just saying, that's what it is. But hey, shh, quiet, wait a minute. Shh, don't tell anyone we're a race of vampiric bugs and we look human, but we're eating you. Shh, quiet, click. Kill click, he's a false prophet. <laughs> hey, I love your dress, it looks like a bug. Your boobies look like the eyes of a bug. And they look like crescent moons facing the opposite direction. That's crazy. I love the rubber suit for the girl. It's what's inside that counts. Broken promises. Oh, that's weird. Huh, what about this super great sketchy tank? That looks like an insect coming out of a dimension, but it also looks like an image of the virgin with, you know, draping her thing over her head, but it's death, but it also looks like a bad drawing of a vagina. But hey, shut the F up, Clack. We're not supposed to tell anybody. Clack's a boss profit. Uh-huh. What about a clothing line called 400? 400. It's twin because, see, I recognize their system. I know it's twin like Cain and Abel. Hunted, hunted, H-U-N-N-I-D, hunted, four. And then the the twin of the word hunted is dinner, D-I-N-N-U-H. Hunted for dinner. So the same guy that showed you all this stuff is telling you that the Lord God whom I serve has informed me that there's a tidal wave coming and it's going to destroy and it's going to be the sum of all fears. 
everyone's greatest fears are going to be realized unless you've been converted, you know Jesus is coming, whoever has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Go read every report card to every church. Read it out loud. Pray. See, the Lord gave me the key of David, which is the key of love. Turns everything up. It's what the key of David is, the key of love. Gave it to me the night I got saved. 100% no lying. I'm telling you the truth. Uh, but there's a lot of haters out there that like to do their little hate tales because God to have mercy on them. They have nothing to do except hate. That's all they can do now because they rejected the truth. And now they're locked into their eternal doom. It's just the way it is. Super sad. That's a dragon. I guarantee it. See the... Do you guys do you guys see that there's a cross there and that there's a cross there, but that's an X and that's an X, that's an X with an X X X two X we are two X they're the dragon race they're the twin female race you get it okay it's pretty obvious let me let me just show you a really crazy pic so there's me with the girl I was very much in love with she was very much in love with me and then when I got converted everything changed it was really the craziest thing. It's not that I quit, you know, being fun or anything. It's just that I had this ability and it drove her nuts just to watch me be able to do it. So let me let me just go through this. So here's the card that she gave me. That's a serpent eating a sheep right there, guys. Wow. Let's just back up. Here's a here's a drawing that Marcel did of me. Look, there's a dead sheep on top of my head. Look right here. Just there it is. Dead sheep. Dead sheep. Dead sheep. Look at the back of my head. Look at the goat. See the head of the goat? I, I. There's a triangle on the nose. There's an ear right there. There's an ear right there. There's a horn right there. There's a horn right there. I, I. Eyes are closed. Go to sleeping. Coming around here. There's the hoof right here. There's the hoof. There's the hair under the belly. And then there's a sheep. It's a sheep that's facing one way. There's the tongue of the sheep. Nose of the sheep. Snoot of the sheep. The eye leaking fluid. There's the ear of the sheep, there's the hair, and there's a goat one way and a sheep the other way. Oh, the church of Satan is a goat facing down and a sheep facing the other way is my race. The sheep and the goats. I'll judge between one sheep and another, separating the sheep from the goats. He's coming, guys. Guarantee ya. Okay, so can anyone argue with this? There's another picture Alex drew me, hey, Johnny, I drew a picture of you. I'm like, oh, why'd you put the dead sheep behind my ear? Uh, do you know who you're speaking with? Yes, I do, the angel of the bottomless pit. I'm Johnny. Yahweh is giving a messenger. You're in deep, deep, deep trouble. Just saying, y'all are all in deep trouble. Pop's coming. He's coming to judge the earth. And by the way, he's going to have me buy a parachute that says V for vengeance. And you guys are in big, big trouble. I'm just saying, he's coming to whoop some ass. Okay, there's an angel kissing a girl. There's so much going on. Look at her stomach right here. Just look at her belly button. Look at this right here. This is okay. Not right. I just put a hard line right in here. See it? I put that black line just outlining her arm. Look right here. Just go. Okay, I just outlined her figure. That's all I did. Now watch. Let's just rotate that puppy a little bit. Why is that whole thing a dead sheep? You see the sheep? Is that the eye of a sheep? Is that the nose of a sheep? Is that the line in the mouth of a sheep? It's a yes or no. Is that the ear of a sheep? It sure is. Why is there a dead sheep here? Well, it's because an angel is kissing a daughter of men. No, no. Big no, no. Wrong angels. Okay, another one. Is that a sheep? Well, of course it's a sheep. I cut it out of Google Images. It's a dead sheep on its back. Does that look like that dead sheep on its back? Well, it sure does. And where did I get that from? I got that from a Zoomies bag. A Zoomies bag. Oh, how'd that happen? Huh. Okay, there it is. You see the dead sheep right there? You see uh, Miley Cyrus's vagina coming out of a dimension right here, eating a bunch of sperm. See them? There they are. See, there's Miley Cyrus's out red neoprene outfit. I'm just kidding. It's identical to it, though. Let me just make it real for you. There you go. So what's Miley Cyrus doing? She's sticking out her tongue. Where do you see that? Oh, see, the sheep has the tongue sticking out. 
See, they're the seed of falsehood. See, they stick out their tongues and they put teeth on their vagina so they can grind up their partners because the goal is to grind out all the angels out of the system. I went along with it for a while, but then the Lord had mercy on me, but apparently I was scheduled for this. <laughs> yeah. So, next question. Is that a sheep right there? Uh, yeah, y'all seen that one a million times. There's a sheep. There's the virgin. Okay, next. Is that a sheep? It's a yes or no. It is, but there's more than that. The eye of the sheep is here. The other eye of the sheep is here. The nostril of the sheep is here. There's the other nostril and there's the mouth. This is the ear going out and this is the fur going out. It's a Mayan looking sheep, but there is the devil eye, eye, nose, horn, horn, mouth, superimposed right on the sheep. So let's take a look. Yes or no? Is that a sheep? Why is there a sheep on a on a on a pyramid from Guatemala when you turn the king upside down? Those who try and hide their plans, they turn everything upside down. Why is Nefertiti in the hieroglyph of Akhenaten and Nefertiti? Why does it turn into a dead sheep when I turn it upside down? Do you know why? Because the Lord God has used me to solve the mystery of everything. <laughs> Clexa falls wrong and oh my God, kill him. Nope, y'all are toast. Just saying. It's been a long road though. All right, guys. I hope I made my point. <laughs> Did you see the little bug thing holding the sign? Let's go back to that for a sec. Let's make sure you understand. See, it's a bug thing. Let's go back to the little stupid sign they're holding. Let's see. Watch how stupid this is. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. Where's your sign? Nope. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. There you go. So C means what? Say this out loud. Say it out loud. What is that? C. Ah, what's that say? Say that out loud. Just read this sentence. Blamp, blamp, blamp. That's what this is. <laughs> uh huh. All right. So now back to the um, impossibilities. There's no way this is possible. Anyway, so the same guy that just showed you all the stuff, what one person has that kind of data? The Vatican, the pillars, the altar, the big dead sheep. I didn't even show you that sheep. How many sheep did you see? Doesn't Jesus say, I'm going to go look and find my lost sheep? Yeah, okay. Collect the walls, Robin. <laughs> I stand against him. Good, stand against me. I need someone to stand against me to prove I'm right. Thank you. The bear happens to be wearing the tsunami shirt. <laughs> I love you guys in Christ. Mm. You're going to be okay. Don't be afraid. Faith is the opposite of fear. And faith is, even if you are scared, having the courage to do it anyway. Okay? All right. I love you guys. Just pound it up. Pound it down. <laughs> oh, hey, let me show you guys something. You know, I have a new folder, and I really want you guys to go see something. You guys got to see this. It's so annoying. It is so annoying. I wanted to freak out. Special projects too. Go to the videos right here. Go to videos. And then I want you to go look at this. Look at the Pfizer director assaults James O'Keefe. Just go watch this. Project Veritas. Just go watch it. It is insane. You can literally watch the little weasel try and turn it around. <gasps> is this real? I'm a real person. Are you really doing this? <laughs> they are so pathetic. I mean, all I can do is laugh at them now. I'm sorry. I, my, 
I pray God have mercy on them, but you know what? They're, they're nonsense. It's like, y'all are a joke. A total joke. All right. Thanks for letting me vent a little bit. Hopefully this all makes it. Peace and grace, guys.